Ability is behind the Eagles' struggles. They take on, obviously, the 8-1 and Saints this weekend in New Orleans. Uh, Darren Woodson, how are we doing, my friend? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, how lovely. you doing, Molly? Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm great. Yeah. Thanks again for coming out to Dallas. You got that smile yeah, on your ear. Yeah. I'm just, I can't smile. A brother you know can't come on the show and just show yeah, some love. I mean, you, I, I, you look now a little bit too comfortable. I mean, what was it? Because the Cowboys were have to stinking up the joint on Monday night like I told y'all they would. They showed up on Sunday and handled their business. Is that what this is about? No, no, not, nothing to do with that. Just Darren, showing don't up. Don't let them is, bring you down, okay? The problem is there is no way to get, get at Darren sartorially. Mm. He's dressed very well, so Stephen A. needed another angle in. Yeah, he came mm -hmm. at me. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, he don't have on blue and gray foot chains, so that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Okay. That's all tomorrow. All right, all right fashion police, can I ask you a football question? Sure. Okay. Do you think it would actually be a good thing for the Eagles to just get beat down by New Orleans in the Big Easy? Well, first of all, they are going to get beat down. <laughs> all right, let's get that out of the way. Be a good thing. Right. Still, you know, the Eagles well, are going to the get their butts whipped this weekend. Uh -huh. And I think that that's going to be the turning point. I think all of this talk, all this way. Listen, Kelsey was absolutely right with what he said about his team and his teammates. Yes, they've had some injuries, but you also had guys that were not prepared to answer the bell and conduct themselves like Super Bowl champions are supposed to conduct themselves. Mindful of the fact that everybody's going to come your way. They're going to bring your A game. you got to be up for that challenge. And I think the number one culprit in all of this was Doug Peterson. When Doug Peterson comes out weeks ago mm -hmm. and says, there's no pressure on us, that is the most idiotic quote that I've ever seen from a Super Bowl championship coach. There's no excuse for something like that. There's always urgency. There's only 16 games in the season. Every week counts. And the fact that you could come out there and say something as asinine as that made no sense to me whatsoever. You stripped the players of the pressure and the level of urgency that automatically comes with being a Super Bowl champion. And you gave them a pass. And it's figuratively speaking, of course, chickens coming home to roost for you in that regard. Having said all of that, usually a wake-up call is required. And obviously you might lose games, but when you're losing 27-20, or you're winning 24-18, mm -hmm. or losing 21-17, to even though you gave up a 17-point lead in the fourth quarter to the Panthers, that's not quite the same as getting your butt whipped. Mm. That will happen this weekend. The Eagles are going to get stomped by the New Orleans Saints. I told y'all it was going to happen to the Biggles. I'm telling you again it's going to happen to the Philadelphia Eagles. And then after that, they'll make their run. Well, I mean, they'll, they may win some games because after that I'm looking at the schedule right now. Giants, to, Redskins, the Giants have Cowboys, to win. Washington's, Rams. Washington's not a tough game. Well, it's a, the rivalry games, Washington and the Cowboys and, and the Giants. And when you throw in the Rams, that sounds like two and two to me for the Eagles. Um, like they'll win one, two of the three rivalry games. You figure they may lose one and they'll lose to the Rams. I think that's likely. They have the Texans and Washington. Washington also has a bunch of NFC East games coming up, but Washington is 6-3 and three and the Eagles are 4-5. and five. That's just the reality. I think They're the Eagles gonna are going to win about four to, or four of those five They games. better. I mean, they need every single win right now in a winnable playoffs. division. So is, is this going to be the turnaround game for them? The schedule gets easier when you're not playing the hottest team in football, mm -hmm. who also may be the best team in football fundamentally. I mean, they're one of the two or three. At, you know, on the road, you're likely to lose. And then after that, the schedule gets better, but they need every single Absolutely. win, including this one. Absolutely. I mean, this is a huge game for them. And I know everybody's talking about they're going to go up to New Orleans and they're going to get beat down, like Stephen A. said. But, hey, listen, they still got to play this game. And for the Eagles, you're, you're, you're trying to win every single game. And I get where Doug Peterson's going. I, Stephen, I absolutely agree with what he said. I, I don't think it's an idiotic statement for him to make. I think he's, he's been a relaxed coach. He's been a player's coach, and they've loved the way that he's coached this football team from a player's standpoint because he fills their needs and he understands it. So he didn't want to put pressure on them at the same time when he made the statement. He was like, hey, listen, we need to play our game. No more added pressure. How can Let's you just say play that? our game. Because I've been on that end. That's what I'm I've been, saying. You I've have been, been on the end. I thought I, thought I've I was been talking on that to end. a champion. I've, I've been, been on that end. I was talking to a champion that accepts the challenge exactly. of being a champion but he, as but opposed to passing the buck and acting like there's no pressure. But what this is not me. You? I mean, we're not talking mediocrity. We're talking about the defending champions. Right. Philadelphia Eagles. I've been, on the team with, I've been on the team with Jimmy Johnson as a head coach, and we all know how hardcore Jimmy Johnson was. And there were times he would come in after a loss and say, hey, take the day off. 
take the day off. Let's get away from it. Don't worry about it. Relax. Everything's going to be fine. It's called it's being, it's being a psychologist at the game. same time. It's being a psychologist at the same time. Being a counselor, counseling your team. Just to relax, take the stress Peters has off, already won half as many that, Super Bowls as Jimmy Johnson, by the way. Absolutely. Peters is a Super Bowl champion coach. And, and, and incidentally, Stephen, I'm with Darren on this as far as, as far as this goes. Yeah, of course, Jason Kelsey has to say next man up and all that. What else are you supposed to say? Well, how else are you supposed to think if you're trying to win? Their tackles have been hurt all year. Absolutely. All of their running backs are gone. They lost their own Not team them. and their quarterback coach. Clement I mean, and Wendell back. Smallwood were there last year. Nelson Aguilar and Alshon Jeffries was there last year. I'm talking Zach about Ertz, I know that. I, I, well, I mentioned the first two names I gave you were running back. Not you got the two wide receivers. You got Zach Ertz. Listen, Peters and, and Lane, you've been on that uh, for a long time, and you're absolutely right. I get all of that. But still in all, we've seen the Eagles come up with a myriad of ways to lose but games But what I'm year. saying is when you elevate your receivers, Coach, to offensive coordinator, guess what? Maybe you don't you use your two tight ends as well as you should. I mean, there are a million reasons that the Eagles aren't doing well. Super Bowl hangover, which is really what you're alluding to, I believe is part of it. But actually, personnel is a huge Absolutely. part of it. It's a huge part of this. And we're, again, dealing with tackles, tackles that are banged up, dealing with the, the running backs that are banged. Spurls hasn't even played this year. I mean, there's, there's so many guys on this football team that, that, that aren't injured, haven't been able to play at their, at their highest level, and they're playing with backups at, at crucial times. So I get it, man. Listen, it's, it's a part of it. You, players win games, and you need the personnel that, uh, to win those games, and they just don't have the personnel well, to match. So I understand Dan. Peterson saying, hey, man, just relax. I, I, we I respectfully disagree with you. Listen, I didn't play you, dear. You're the Super Bowl champion. I know my place, but I got to tell you, I respectfully disagree in that regard, Darren, because I look at it and I say to myself, excuse me, if you were losing one definitive way, that would be different. Every week they lost a different way. Yeah. You see, and that's my problem with them. So, in other words, this holds every damn place, sure up something, and then when you sit up there and you say, well, you know what? We don't have any pressure whatsoever. Just go out there and play. It's not a big deal. Excuse me. Okay, they treated it like that. How has that worked for you? Carson Wentz taking the ball out of his hands. He's we, we talk about Carson Wentz, and we've forgotten that this was a league MVP candidate before he goes down last year. He comes back after the first two or three games this year. He's completing right, 71% of his passes. Let's talk about something that'll make you smile. Why are you Stephen taking the ball out of his hands for? Let's turn to something positive. Go ahead. America's Cowboys. team. Oh, go ahead, Molly. Go ahead, Molly. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Last year, the